Hey guys, Brendan in Productions here, and welcome to this Java tutorial. Now, this is actually Java tutorial part um, 14, I believe. And in this part, we will be covering how to read text from files. Now, this is actually the third time I've recorded this tutorial, because each time I've recorded I've discovered something new, and um, I'm going to share it with you in this video. So, first off, in order to actually read files, we need a file first. Oh, my bad. We need a file uh, to actually read from first. Let's minimize uh, this package explorer here. So we're actually going to need a file to read from. So I set up a text file called the hello, or this has the text of hello, this is a tutorial by Brenton Doniger Productions. And um, I actually saved it as readme.txt and it's saved to my desktop. So what we're going to do with this application is we're actually going to read from that file and spit out the text that it contains. Now, in order to do this, we're going to need to import two Java libraries, the buffered reader library and the file reader library. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now, these two libraries are both very similar to ones that we have used before. The buffered reader library is very similar to the scanner library. Now, as you recall, when we used the scanner library, uh, we used it to read text that was sent in via the console uh, from user's input. However, uh, that is specialized for actually reading the console's input. Now we're going to be using a buffered reader because that is actually open to almost everything else. You could actually use a buffered reader to get the input from the console. However, right now we're just going to use it to read from a file. And then the file reader uh, actually allows Java to access Windows file system and get the file and allow the buffered reader to actually read it. So that's how we're going to use uh, those two items. So let's go ahead and start off by creating a main method args and uh, the first thing we're actually going to want to do when we create our main method is we want to create a new reader or a new buffered reader. So we're going to say buffered reader reader equal to new buffered reader. Now all is well at first um, however, when, if you recall, when we created a scanner, um, we parameterized it as something like this. Now, this system.in that we were actually sending the scanner was a, an information stream. And this stream contained the information that the user actually typed in to the console. So any type of reader, including the scanner and buffered reader, in the parameters when we first initialize the object, we need to send in a stream. Now, we can't just send in a system.end stream to the buffered reader, because what we're trying to do is read a file, not read from the console. So we're going to have to create a new stream here. And this stream is actually going to be of type file reader. So we're going to say file reader, and this is going to be called file, equal to new file reader. And then in the parameters for the file reader, we're going to send in the path that the file is stored. So we um, have C, users, Brandon, desktop, readme.txt. But what if this, um, this file here does not exist? Well, if it does not exist, then evidently Java is going to want to, or this file reader more specifically, is going to want to throw an error. However, Java does not know that uh, we're going to try to throw an error if this file is not found. So we need to explicitly tell it that this main method here can throw an error if it need be. So we're just going to say throws exception. So this is telling Java, we've got a main method here. If there's an error, it's going to throw an exception. No big deal. This is just um, to prevent more errors from happening because Java doesn't know that the main method is going to throw an error. So now that we've created our file stream here, our stream of information that pertains to this file, um, we can actually send it in as a parameter to the buffered reader. So now the next thing we actually want to do is actually read from the file. So we're going to create a new string called text, and we're going to make it empty. And this is actually going to store what is inside of the file. We're also going to create a new string called line, Oh, that is not string. <laughs> Equal to reader.readline. So 
what this um, read line statement of the reader does is it keeps reading line after line after line after line of the stream given, which in our case is our file. And if there is no more text to read, it returns null. So what we want to do is make sure we get all the text in the file, not just one, um, one line, by putting this in a while statement. So while line is not equal to null, uh, we are going to do the following. And the following we want to do is we're going to say text equals text plus, which can be simplified by text plus equals um, line. And then after we add the line to the string, we're going to say line equals reader dot read line. So after it's gone through every line in the text file and added it to the string text, um, we can actually go ahead and uh, spit out the text that we have stored. So we're going to say system dot out, oops, dot print line, and we're going to print out text. So let's go, whoa, <laughs> system. So let's go ahead and test out our application. So as you can see, the console quickly opens up and it spits out, hello, this is a tutorial by Brand Owner Productions. And if we check back in our text file, um, it does say, hello, this is a tutorial by Brand Owner Productions. So now you know how to read items from a file. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, the next tutorial is going to be uh, on how to actually write to a file or how to check if files exist, etc. So we're getting more into um, file operations as we go along because they are becoming more and more useful as our programs get more advanced. Now file... Um, never mind. <laughs> I won't even go off on that tangent. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. This is definitely useful in uh, future applications. and. Um, I'm glad that I was able to offer this information for you. So please remember to have a fantastic day. And um, that's it. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe to this video. If you want to add me on League of Legends, my name is Brandonio21. I have some other name is Brandonio21. I've recently been playing that. Fun stuff. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. And uh, have a great day. Peace. Well, this is awkward. Where's my recorder?